I'm at the breakfast buffet and my sensor is not working. Okay, I'll explain what happened. I was walking towards Isla for the breakfast buffet to have the exact same breakfast as yesterday, but this time with protein, fats and fiber first and then carbs and sugar. But maybe because I went snorkeling many times yesterday to see the different types of fish, my sensor got spoiled. So I'll take you throughout the day and show you what I ate and what I did to keep my blood sugar levels in control. For breakfast, I first started with protein, fats and fiber and then I moved on to fruits so that the sugar in fruits will not be able to spike my blood sugar levels too much. And then I felt like having sugary cereals or muesli, but in the past, they've really spiked my blood sugar levels too much. And at that moment, guess what I found? Dalia. So I made myself a nice bowl with nuts, seeds and berries and had it. It was very good. After breakfast, I decided to walk to the villa instead of taking a buggy so that I can reduce the post-breakfast glucose spike. For lunch, I had a bowl of freshly cut fruits along with a cup of coffee because after that, I wanted to go for snorkeling as the weather was great and then go for a light swim in the pool. For dinner, I ordered some shrimp tacos because the ratio of proteins to carbs was very good. Plus, if you notice, the tacos had guac inside, which is high in fats and fats tend to reduce the glucose spike of any meal. And of course, before I had the tacos, I had a salad. Because as I've seen, having fiber before a meal is very successful at controlling the glucose spike. For dessert, I had two of these coconut chocolate balls and went straight to bed. 